chapter 1, verse 3. It only has one chapter. And let's look at verse 3. It's a popular scripture. It says, where am I? Okay, verse 2, sorry. Sorry. The elder unto the well-beloved Gaius, whom I loved in truth. That's verse 1. But look at verse 2. He said, beloved, I wish above all things. Now, look at that. that the, my, which means my greatest wish for you. It means my greatest prayer. You know, a wish is even from a prayer. A wish might happen and, and it may not happen. Are you, getting, are you getting what I'm saying? If somebody is saying now, I wish I can just have a um, house in Lekki, it's a wish. So, it's not saying this thing I'm saying can happen. For him to be wishing, it means it is not in his power to determine that it will happen in your, in your life. He says, I wish above all things that, number one, you may prosper. He said that, number two, that you may be in what? In health. Even as thy soul, that is your salvation, prospereth. So, your health is very, very important. Because if your health is affected, your purpose in life will be affected. Now, and that's why we have come today to channel our prayers in the direction of our health. I wrote some examples here. Now, you, you remember Rachel, the wife of Jacob. He, she followed her husband. They were on a journey to a land that their husband had told them of. But she couldn't get there. Why? She died on the way. Once a person's life ends, his purpose on earth will end with it. Then somebody else will be chosen to continue the journey of purpose. Beloved, it was on the ground of health that the great prophet Elisha ended this ministry. Look at it in 2 Kings chapter 13, verse 14. The Bible says, Elisha was sick of the sickness of which he died. So, it's not that Elijah did not do like Paul. Uh, Elisha did not do like Paul the apostle that Paul said, I finished my race. No, look at it. Where am I? No, this is not it. Second Kings. You know, first, check First Kings 13. It should be Second Kings. One of the Second Kings 13, 14, not 14, 13. 13, verse 14. 13, verse 14. Now Elisha was falling sick. Can you see? Of his sickness. Everybody knows him with that sickness. Wherefore he died. And Joash, the king of Israel, came down unto him and wept over his face and said, Oh my father, my father, the child of Israel and the husband thereof. And we all know that when Elisha died, he died even with the anointing, which means assignment was not yet finished. He, he got to a point that his dead body his bones, rotting bones, raised the dead. So, if somebody asks you, what ended the ministry of Elisha? It was sickness. Tell your neighbor for me, your health is important. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Listen, the, the wicked knows that when a person's health is affected, hear me, number one, he will be distracted. A person whose health is affected cannot focus on his dreams. He knows that the easiest way to distract the person is on health ground. You will see that he will leave every other thing. You know that was what Satan told God when he was talking to God about Job. He uh, says, skin for skin. A man will give, give, give up everything he has in order to be healthy. That's why you must not allow your health to be affected. Do not allow the devil, do not allow anything to tamper with your health. He knows that when your health is affected, you will be distracted. You can't focus on what you want to do. Number two, he knows that when your health is affected, he knows that that is the easiest way to er er eradicate you from the earth. So that's why it's a subtle attack. So many people are not paying attention on, to that aspect. But it's a subtle attack in order to stop you from where you are going. But I pray in the name of Jesus, he will continue to fail. Amen. 
every attack on your health shall continue to fail in the name of Jesus. Another thing I want to show you, we'll be praying very soon. The wicked knows that every believer in Christ, hear me, is entitled to divine protection. If you are born again, you are entitled to divine protection. If you are born again, you are entitled to divine protection. He knows that. The devil knows that he cannot, he, he cannot touch you as long as you are a born again Christian. And how do I know it? I saw it in two scriptures. I saw it in Job chapter 1, 9 and 10. They were projected for us. And I also saw it in John chapter 17, 12 to 15. Job chapter 1, 9 and 10. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for enough? He doesn't fear God for nothing. Verse 10. Look at why uh, as Satan says, Job fear God. He said, Has not thou made an edge, hedge about him and about his house and about all that he had on every side? Thou art blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. He said, You have put a fence around him. Everyone that is born again has access to divine protection. Say, I have access to divine protection. You should understand. Now, in the New Testament, look at what Jesus said. John chapter 17, 12 to 15. Jesus, our Lord, re echoed it. Made us understand that every Christian have access. He said, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. And none of them is lost. But the one, uh, sorry, but the son of uh, perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. He said, and now, I, I, I sorry, and now, come I to you. He said, in law, sorrow, and these, these things I speak in the world that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. What is that that I speak in verse 14? I have given them thy word and the world hath, hath ate them because they are not of this world. Even as I am not of the world. So if the world hates you, don't let that one bother you. But that's not where I'm going. <clears throat> verse 15. He says, I pray not that thou should take them. God is not praying. It's not the will of God that you should die now. I pray not that thou will take them out of this world, but that thou should what? Keep them from the evil. So every child of God, if you are born again, you have rights to divine protection. You are protected. You are protected. I know somebody will be saying right now, Pastor, if I'm protected, if I have right to divine protection, then why are we praying about our health? I mean, that's what somebody will be thinking now. But look at this. This is what I discovered. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. We have an enemy that the Bible calls an accuser of brethren. Now, who is an accuser? An accuser is anyone that goes around looking for faults in order to pin people down. Looks for faults in against them to pin them down. And listen, there are four areas that the enemy operates in order to find faults to attack us. I will show you those four. Number one is he capitalizes on unbelief Fear and doubt, they are the same level. I bagbo eru ati yimiji, the same level. Unbelief, fear, and doubt. Now, on my lord, on ti o bali ba oro lord on bo. O isi funsa tani lati mo. On my lord, on to shi yimiji. On my lord, on to ba eru la ye. I think I was preaching at the Elebu Church on Sunday, and I was sharing. Why did Job fall cheap, cheaply? It was confirmed in the Bible. The Bible says Job said, Ah, what I have feared most has happened to me. Which means that even when Job was sitting on the top as a king, as a, as a rich man, he was always afraid that one day he might become poor. Whenever the devil sees fear, it's like fish have seen water to swim. That's why don't be afraid. The Bible says the righteous is as what bold as a lion. And the Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Don't allow fear. Look at Peter. Peter was walking gallantly on the water, walking gallantly on the water like Jesus. Please give me another mic. This one is deserving. Like Jesus, he was walking gallantly on the water until he became afraid. So the devil is studying you. 
throwing several reports at you. Showing several symptoms and signs to make you afraid, to make you doubt, and to make you uh, 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 to, to not unbelieve so that it can have access to penetrate. Magba erulaye. Magba aidagbolaye. Kini etuala niketa. Magba e iye meji laye. That's why you see some children of God, they just feel somehow. And before you know it, they begin to confess, give name to what they are feeling. Just like some time ago, uh, uh, one of our families, one of our church members just came, the husband and the wife. And they said, I asked them why they were not in church on Sunday. And they said, sir, we had typhoid. Is there typhoid? Typhoid is uh, in existence. I know typhoid exists. They said, we have typhoid. You have typhoid? The question I now asked them next was what shocked me. I asked them, who told you that you have typhoid? They said they were just feeling somehow in their stomach. And they were feeling that it's like they have a headache. And instantly, they gave it a name. Typhoid didn't shame you. Can you imagine that? They used their own mouth. I told them, did you go for any test in the hospital? They said no. Then, who told you that you have typhoid? He said, we just felt small stomach ache and a little bit of headache. And they gave it a name. The devil capitalized on that. Don't forget, the devil is who? An accuser. Let's go to the second one. To bring, out, to bring sickness into people's life, number two, the devil capitalizes on carelessness, in bracket, mismanagement. In bracket again, abuse of your body. Now, me yoba, kinon kwe carelessness no, I bikita abi. I case, am I communicating? I case Sarah, what's mismanagement? Ilokulo. The same thing with abuse. Yeah, yeah. So, that's another thing. The accuser will be watching your carelessness. The accuser will be watching your mismanagement. The accuser will be watching your abuse. You know, some children of God, I always tell them, the medicals will tell us that sleep is a medicine on its own. And I read in the book of Ecclesiastes, the Bible says, God blesses those he loves with deep sleep. But do you know that it is mismanagement for you to walk through the day and decide not to sleep in the night. You are mismanaging your body. Now, some of you will walk throughout the day. You now say, ah, there's this, there's this uh, uh, movie I collected. I didn't finish it. I need to finish it this night. I want to watch it this night. Uh, I, I think I'm in series 9. And now that I'm in series 9, I'm going to see how I can watch series 9. Because I won't have time. I'll be going to work tomorrow. So I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch series so, so and so. You are abusing your body. Now, these are little, little things that the accuser of brethren capitalize on. Now, to some, it is not that they abuse sleep. Some, they abuse even what they eat. Number three. The devil also capitalizes. The accuser, he capitalizes on sin. Backsliding. According to John chapter 5 verse 14. According to John chapter 5 verse 14. I think I've read this John chapter 5 verse 14 almost 10 times this year in this church. Afterward. Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Ah, all right. Sin no more. Least what? A worse thing come unto thee. Which means what you had before was crippled on both feet. He said if you continue sinning, the one that is more terrible. Then look at the fourth one. 
the devil also capitalizes on what? Negligence. Do you know that a lot of born again Christians is common in the, in the body of Christ. We don't care about our body. We neglect our body. If you ask so many children of God, do you take care of your body? Some, you ask some children of God, ah, please, what, please, what kind of bat, uh, baking soap do you use? They say, ah, je umo. Locks. Uh, ST. Sa? She has you, Simo. You know, she has you. Anyone, ah. It will pay to learn low, auntie, ah. Bad day, yo. Bako. Igi, a wuro. Eh? A do, at my lady. Now, what's that? Negligence. Some children of God, do you know that? Look up, look up. A lot of children of God neglect themselves. There was a case like that that was brought before me. When the, the person was telling me, it was a family member of his that was strong. And they told me, because I read a lot of books, as they told me about it, I told that person, I said, take your, this your family member to the hospital. With this thing that you have told me, there is still solution. But they went to church. They started sleeping in their church, doing kind of, burning all kinds of candles, Different, drink, drinking different colors of water until the thing now became worse. They couldn't undo it again. They now refer from church, they now refer them to, to hospital. And when they got there, they said the thing had grown. There's nothing we can do about it again. Listen, the devil capitalizes on negligence. We, if you use car, let me not say we, if you use car, you drive a car of your own, you will understand that if you see a vehicle that is moving regularly and has not broken down at any time, the maintenance is, has been done regularly. Say negligence. Please pay attention to your health. Some of you don't even know what you eat that, cause, that makes you feel bad. Some of you don't know when to... I, I, I took, now listen, let me tell you this quickly. I took something as a gift uh, during my mom's burial. Uh, I had forgotten. And that was quite unusual of me. That, because as my mentor was going, I told them that, uh, uh, sir, ma, your pack will follow you. I forgot. So when we were coming back, my wife said, have we taken our mentor's food? I screamed, yeah. And common sense told me that it is wrong for me to now package food at that time because a normal person will say, after they have served everybody, you know, I'll be teaching you court C last Sunday of this month. And I've listed, I'll be listening about 50 things I will teach you. Some of you don't know. You don't know that like, the message you'll be passing is that you serve you know, I told myself, no, no. So I, I told my wife. You know what we are going to do? So I went straight to a barbecue uh, market. I bought fish barbecue. Hear me? For both of them separately, packaged, and my wife knows how to do packaging. So I packaged my mentor's own, packaged his wife's own separately, and I took a pack of juice. When I got there, they said, ah, they've gone home. But somebody says, I will get to his house tonight. Before I go to my own house. That was around to nine. So they, they took it there. That's not the message. The next day I now met my mentor. My mentor said, ah, pastor, thank you. They brought it. But I will, I will be eating my today. That I don't eat any time above 6 p.m. Ah, you know what crossed my mind? Upon all the faith, I thought that faith is licensed to just do anything and you'll be covered. Upon the faith, so they still follow certain principles. You two don't neglect your body. 
Know the things that when you eat them, they affect you. And when you notice it, begin to sidetrack them. Because see, it is the door, the passage you create that the devil will use. If you don't create a passage, I wrote down here, I, I, I will see coming there. The devil will see nothing to use against you. And he does not have any other thing apart from these four. What's number one again? Unbelief, fear, doubt. What's number two? Carelessness, mismanagement, abuse. What's number three? Backsliding, that's sin. What's number four? Negligence. So, being the accuser of brethren that he is, you will see him playing around these things. And once he succeeds, hear me, to get a loophole into people's life, that's what he will use against them. So this night I want us to pray. Perhaps there is any way that the wicked are capitalized or is still capitalizing on to attack your health. Let's deal with it in the place of prayer. Now that we have seen that once your health is affected, you may not be able to feel destiny again. Once your health is affected, you'll be distracted. Listen, for 12 good years of that, wo that, that woman with the issue of blood, it was not recorded in the Bible that she was doing any other thing than looking for what? How she will be healed. One thing, Luangwa, every other thing had to stop. That's why you are going to pray to, tonight. That's why I told you to fast and pray in the manual that you should pray over your health. When you have the health capacity, there is nothing, no dream you have that you can't pursue. I will, I will summarize the teaching aspect with the life of one great man of God. He is of blessed memory now. He gave a promise to his uh, wife's younger brother. Don't worry, I will take you abroad. And this man goes abroad like he's going to toilet. But because he, he was careless with himself, he went somewhere and ate where he was not supposed to eat, so he was poisoned. So when he was on the sick bed, he was dying. They said the poison has, he had eaten up his intestine the liver, and there's nothing they can do about it than to watch him die. Now, the brother's wife told me by himself, he said he called him by his first name, Lagbaja. I promised you that I would take you abroad. A man can promise. The man may not be able to fulfill. He said, but I, 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 I pray for you that God will raise for you people that can do what I intend to do. Because with what the doctors have told me, very soon, I'll be leaving the earth. And he left. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The arrows of sickness sent your direction will not reach you. Amen. Every plan of the wicked to use sickness to distract you, may they fail in Jesus name. Amen. As you open your mouth to declare tonight, I pray that the Lord God Almighty will give you victory on every side in Jesus' name. Now, you are going to take these eight declarations. Let's be on our feet. Eight. The first prayer you will declare, I want you to declare it. Say, I am delivered by the blood of Jesus from the arrows of sickness that hit me because of my error. Now, it could be any of these errors. It could be carelessness. It could be unbelief. It could be backsliding. It could be negligence. I love something in the story of the uh, prodigal son. After he had lost everything, what did he do? He came back to his father. He knew how compassionate his father was. He knew the compassion of his father. Some of us are only serving God. We don't know his compassion. Do you know the compassion of your God?
God is very compassionate. So go go offer his son. To ba ashishe mi wano agwara mi. Wani ni oru ko jeso. Olu alejade. Father, let them be removed from my life. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Let's begin to pray. Begin to pray. Say, I am delivered by the blood of Jesus from the arrow of sickness that hit me because of my errors in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to talk to the Lord and declare in the name of Jesus every arrow of sickness, oh God, that hit me ah, as a result of my errors. I am exempted from them now. I am delivered from such by the blood of Jesus. Begin to declare your deliverance now. 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 Are you prophesying? Are you declaring in the name of Jesus every arrow of sickness that, that hits me as a result of my own error? Father, may I am delivered by the blood of Jesus now. Begin to declare. Let me hear your voice declare right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed and amen. Say after me, say, I am in Christ Jesus. I didn't hear you. I am in Christ Jesus. Therefore, I am exempted from the sickness or disease flowing in my father or mother's house. Why is it delay Baba me? I saw a delay, yami, ni tori ke moti diye ni otu, moti ba Christi moti diye ni otu, holu wa maje ki mba wang pwini nwe, o ya so diya dura, let's begin to pray, in the name of Jesus, every sickness, every disease, flowing in my father's house, flowing in my mother's house, I am born again, I belong to Jesus, therefore, I am exempted from them all. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Rekada ba 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 sata yanga da baskene. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray for for yourself, Lord. I will not experience or manifest the kind of sickness that my father manifested. Begin to pray for yourself. The one that my mother manifested, Lord, I reject it from my life. I'm exempted from the sickness, from the disease that flows in my father's house. In the name of Jesus, let's begin to pray for ourselves. Begin to pray for yourself. Lord, I'm exempted from it. Lord, I'm exempted from it. Lord, I'm exempted from it. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying church 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 in the name of jesus i am exempted oh god thank you father in jesus mighty name we are prayed and amen look at me open your eyes open your eyes the third point point of prayer we take it from the encounter that paul the apostle had the bible says he was gathering sticks in acts chapter 28 he was gathering sticks and all of a sudden a snake just came out of the stick and beat him Pa! And everybody was saying, ah, this kind of a snake, this man will swell. He will swell. The Bible says he shook off the beast. And people were waiting for him to swell. Nothing happened to me. You are going to pray that, Father, every, be every bewitchment. Now, you know what it means to bewitch? Shall we begin to pray? Let's begin to pray. Begin to pray. Everything they were thinking about Paul, it didn't happen. Begin to declare everyone that is that 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 desire that I become sick. That desire that I, I, I carry a sickness. Father Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, let their desires fail. Begin to pray for yourself. Lord, let their wish fail, O God. Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Let it fail, O God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, their dream, their evil wish against me shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus. It shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus. It shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed and amen. Let's take the next point of prayer. You will tell the Lord, everyone around my life, I didn't hear you, there is an agent of darkness spreading sickness to my life father disconnect us by fire 
disconnect us by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray for yourself. Everyone around my life planted as an agent to be spreading sickness into my life. Father, Lord, I pray, disengage them. Separate them from me by fire. Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Look up, look up, look up. Now, this prayer point, you pray it again. I, it was from Reverend G.F. Oyo's book. I read it. A woman was always feeling sick. Her husband, will, if, they, if they take her husband to the hospital, by the time they are discharging the husband, the, the woman will fall sick. By the time they are discharging the woman, the children will fall sick. So, sickness was just rotating in their house. Then she went for deliverance. Now, and after they prayed, he, she got back home. I think it was a three or four days prayer and fasting. She got back home. Around 12 midnight, it's like something tap her like this. And she woke up. She started hearing some sounds in the kitchen. So she now tiptoed, you know, and was going quietly. As she was getting closer to the kitchen, the sound was increasing. Then she peeped through the hole and saw their house help. Remove their pot of soup from the fridge, open the backyard door, and put it on the floor. Then she opened the door. Ah, you know what she saw? She saw all their soup in the fridge, from the fridge, already at the backyard, on the floor, all the pots on the floor. And the guest handed like this, and the guest started confessing that every night, so that they will be spending their money on sickness, they told her in their society that she should bring out the soup and urinate. That's what Everyone around my life, you are going to pray. That, that are agents of the devil to spread sickness to me. Father, disconnect them from me by fire. Shall we begin to pray? Let's begin to pray it. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, disconnect them from me by fire in the name of Jesus. Everyone around my life, that is on assignment to make me sick. Father, disconnect them. Father, disconnect them from me by fire, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Reka yarabas, basanta yanga dabaske, lege de base. Father, disconnect them from me by fire, O God. By fire, O God, in the name of Jesus. Are you praying this morning, this evening? Begin to tell the Lord, Father, disconnect them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Now, take the next prayer. Say, I receive divine wisdom now to manage my health well. In the name of Jesus. Divine wisdom to manage my health well. Lord, I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray? Let's begin to pray. Begin to pray for yourself. Divine wisdom to manage my health well. Lord, I receive it now. Lord, I receive it now. Lord, I receive it now. Begin to receive them now. Receive it now. Divine wisdom to manage your health well. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying for yourself? 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 Praying for yourself? Lord, I receive divine wisdom to manage my health well. In the name of Jesus. I will not mismanage my health. Begin to pray for yourself. Every spirit of error to make me mismanage my health will not possess me. The spirit of error in me, she 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 she. Ah, Uluama Jeko Balimi, begin to pray for yourself. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and amen. Now, look up. You put your, your, your hand like this on your chest to declare this one. Say after me, I command to wither now every root of sickness in my blood, in my bone, in my flesh. Now, we mukala she kukbe, bukbu irukbe, bongbo. I saw Ninu e Jemi, Ninu e Kunkumi, Ninu e Rarami. Oh, ya better no, ya saw the Atura. Let's begin to pray. Begin to pray for yourself. Begin to pray, Lord. I minister to my body now. Every root of sickness in my blood, in my bones, in my body. Wither in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Ya kada barabas, baseke le maskele, 
Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Command it to dry now. Every root of sickness. Command it to dry now. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to confess it. Dry. Dry. Oya bedano. Ringa yarabase. Basata yangadaba. My blood is healed. My bones are healed. My veins healed. My flesh healed. Begin to prophesy your healing. Prophesy your healing. Every part of my body healed now. In the name of Jesus. Prophesy all the part of your body healed. Strong and able. In the name of Jesus. My bones are healed. My body is healed. My brain is healed. My, my, my liver is healed. My kidney healed. In the name of Jesus. My heart is healed. Oh yeah. Speak. Begin to declare. The Bible says and you shall declare it and it shall be established. Begin to prophesy right now. Every part of your body declare healing now. Healed now. Healed now. Healed now. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? I want you to declare. Lord, I begin to enjoy my health from now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I begin to enjoy my health. I begin to enjoy my health. My lungs are healed. In the name of Jesus. Every part of my body is healed. In the name of Jesus. I command sickness. Go far from me. Go far from me. Go far from my family. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare. I rebuke you spirit of disease. In the name of Jesus. I am healed perfectly. I am healed perfectly. I am healed perfectly. I am healed perfectly. In the name of Jesus. Say after declare. Begin to declare. The food I eat is blessed. In the name of Jesus. The water I drink is blessed. From now. In the name of Jesus. Sickness is far away from me. In the name of Jesus. Are you praying for yourself? Are you declaring? Command sickness to be far. Command sickness to be far. Command disease to be far. It is well with me on every side. Declare that it is well with you. It is well with me on every side. In the name of Jesus. Yes, I command every part of my organs. Yes, to begin to function well. Function well. My body function well. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for yourself. The Bible says those that wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength begin to declare my strength is renewed 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 I, my strength is renewed in the name of Jesus are you praying for yourself hmm. My strength is renewed, oh God, in the name of Jesus. My strength is renewed, oh God, in the name of Jesus. My strength is renewed, oh God. Thank you, my Father. Declare it. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Now take this confession. Say after me, I gain access by the blood of Jesus to the healing made available. In Christ Jesus, for me, in the name of Jesus. I gain access by the blood of Jesus to the healing made available in Christ Jesus for, for his saints. In the name of Jesus. See, my health is perfect. Open your mouth and just begin to declare it. Begin to declare it. I gain access by the blood of Jesus to the healing made available in Christ Jesus for his saints. In the name of Jesus, my health is perfect. My health is perfect. My health is perfect. Everything about me is perfect. In the name of Jesus. Everything about me is perfect. In the name of Jesus. Everything about me is perfect. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray for yourself. Thank you, Father, for everything about me. Is perfect from now. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and amen. Put your hand on your forehead. I want to pray for you. And everyone watching online, put your hand on your forehead. I declare in the name of Jesus that the Goshen experience begin to happen in your life in Jesus' name. No matter what the negative thing that is flowing in your environment, it will not reach you. I decree that when multitude are falling down are saying, and saying there's a casting down for them, your own story shall always be that there's a lifting for you. If there be any part of your organs that is gradually failing or fading, I declare that those 
organs healed now in the name of Jesus. Receive your strength back in Jesus' name. Receive your strength back in Jesus' name. Arrows of sickness sent your direction. I command them to go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. I pray that person watching me right now, you got a dream about yourself that you died. I declare that that prophecy, that vision of death is cancelled now in Jesus' name. You will not die. You will live to fulfill your purpose in the name of Jesus. I speak that your bloodline is healed. Your bones are healed. Your body is completely healed. Begin to enjoy your health. Those of you that need a creative miracle, a new organ, receive it now from the Lord in Jesus' name. Receive new set of teeth. Receive new set of eyes. Your kneecap that is weak is healed now. It's replaced now with a brown new one from the Lord. You are healed. You are blessed. So it is in Jesus' precious name of bread and amen. Put your hands together for the Lord and be seated.